A store has been selling 200 DVD burners a week at $350 each. A market survey indicates that for each $10 rebate offered to buyers, the number of units sold will increase by $20 a week. Find the demand function and the revenue function. How large a rebate should the store offer to maximize its revenue? So the first thing to realize is that P of X will represent price per unit, okay? And X units will be sold. X units will be sold. So now, the uh, revenue function is going to be the R of X as a function of X, and that will equal the x units sold times the price per unit. This is the total revenue. So x times p of x. So we need to find the demand function. Okay, this is the demand. Now we didn't find it yet because it has to be in terms of x. And the revenue function we already found. So in order to find the revenue function complete, we need to find the missing piece um, in terms of x, which is p of x, the demand function itself. So now let's talk about the current revenue. So the current revenue is going to be 200 times 350, right? Because this represents the units and this represents the demand price per unit, price per unit. Okay, so overall, the current revenue is 200 times 350. Now, this is before the discovery that, uh, be before the market survey is taken, that indicates that for each $10 rebate offered to buyers, the number of units sold will increase by 20 a week. All right, so this is before. So now we're gonna talk about how uh, what we need to actually add or subtract from the current revenue, right? Because the revenue should be a variable revenue depending on the X value, okay? And the P of X will also depend on the X value. So we have to find this demand function by using this information regarding the rebate. So now let's talk about uh, relating the X units and the number of additional units sold per week. So in addition to 200 units. So if X units are sold weekly, then X minus 200 means what? The number of additional units sold per week. Okay, so X minus 200. Now, keep in mind that X units should be at least 200 and above. If it's 200, then the number of additional units will be zero, right? 200 minus three. If X is greater than 200, there will be an additional number of units sold per week, right? In addition to 200. And this is done in order to use the discovery after the market survey was taken, use the discovery regarding the rebates and the number of units sold, okay? So X minus 200 is the number of additional units sold per week. Now let's see, so per every For every 20 additional units sold, what are we going to see? So for every 20 additional units sold, what happens is price per unit price per unit decreases by 10. 
per 20 per every 20 additional units sold. So that's on top of the 200 of the current number of units. So per every 20 additional units sold, price per unit decreases by 10, right? Because this is what, what it says here. For each $10 rebate offered to buyers, the number of units sold will increase by 20. Okay? So we're just rephrasing this by switching the order of the sentence here. We're saying that as you increase by 20 units a week, in addition to what we already have, you will get um, a decrease of $10. Okay? So basically, the... Uh, Price per unit will decrease by 10. That's what it means. $10 rebate is off of the price per unit. So now what that means is that per every one additional unit sold, price... price per unit decreases by, let's see, so how did we get 1 here? We got 1 by dividing 20 by 20, right? 20 divided by 20 is 1, so that means you have to divide 10 by 20 at the same time as well. So that will be 10 over 20, which is simplified as 1 half. So, so on top of the 200, if you if you uh, sell an additional one unit, then price per unit decreases by one half dollars or 50 cents. Okay? And we need that. We need to see what the decrease is per unit, per each unit, per each additional unit only, per only one unit, so that we can use it in the formation of the rebate. Now, what is the rebate going to be? What is it going to look like? Then, one half, right? Because this is the price per unit decrease, okay? Times the number of additional units sold per week. So, x minus 200 times a half, this quantity here, represents the price discount. Or you can say it's a rebate. Rebate for X units sold. Okay? So one half times X minus 200 is the price discount, the rebate for X units sold. So basically, you're going to have to take away this amount from the price, from the current price per unit, okay? So now, if we relate these two, if we basically subtract this from the 350, we will get the demand function. We will get the effective demand function that we need. So thus, P of X, the demand function, becomes 350 minus one half times x minus 200. Okay, that's the demand function. And again, you're subtracting the total rebate, okay, after selling an additional, um, after selling x minus, uh, an additional of x minus 200 units. Or you can say after selling x units, you will get the total, which is 350 minus one half times x minus 200. Okay? So now that we found our uh, demand function, now let's bring back the revenue function. So the revenue function will take note of the fact that we found the demand function P of X. So the re revenue function will be, will be X times this whole thing, right? We're just substituting the P of X with what we have on the right side of it. So that will be 350 minus 1 half times x minus 200. Okay, and this becomes uh, 350x minus 1 half x squared plus 100x. 
and it can be further simplified as and let's put um, in the uh, order of uh, decreasing power so we're gonna put negative one half x squared first as you can see this uh, looks like a typical quad quadratic equation 350 my, uh, plus one plus 100 X that's gonna be uh, 450 450 X so as you can see this is a quadratic equation in which the parabola uh, opens down right and it has a vertex which represents uh, the vertex is the maximum amount right so basically the shape of this parabola is like this it opens down and the vertex will be the top the top value the highest value possible which will be the highest revenue right because this quadratic equation is the revenue function that we found right so the highest point will be the greatest revenue so now in order to find the notice that the slope here will be zero okay so and the slope as you can see should be the derivative right so we need to take the derivative of this function our prime of x that is and using the power rule this is going to be what this is going to be minus x for the first term and then 450x the derivative of that is just 450 using the power rule so as a result i just said that the derivative here will be zero right so we need to um, set the derivative function to zero so we want zero equal to minus x plus 450 in order to find the x value responsible for the greatest revenue right so if we solve for x here by simply adding the x on both sides you will get what you will get x is equal to 450 so what does that mean x equals 450 gives you the number of units that will give you the maximum revenue right the number of units sold that will produce you the maximum revenue now the question said how large a rebate should the store offer to maximize its revenue now what is the rebate the rebate was this right so let's circle that so this is the rebate okay this is the rebate so we need to we need to set x equals to 450 into this rebate function right so so rebate function let's call it r of x so r of x is equal to one half times x minus 200 right so now we're going to set r of 450 right because this is the uh, number of units sold that gives you the maximum revenue so if we input this number of units sold for the rebate function we will find the rebate that goes along with the maximized revenue right so the r of 450 is equal to let's see one half times 450 minus 200 which is equal to one half times 250 which is equal to 125 okay so the rebate is 125 dollars hope this was helpful thanks for watching and see you in the next video